They messed with his face and kidnapped his girl. He's not used to being a hero, but he'll give it a try. Wade Wilson, also known as the superhero Deadpool, finds himself feeling restless in the back of a taxi. He shifts to the front seat to strike up a conversation with the driver, Dopender. Deadpool notices a photograph of a girl in Dopender's car and asks about her. Dopender reveals that she used to be his girlfriend until he lost her to his cousin. Deadpool advises Dopender to cherish his love for her. Later, Dopender stops the cab in the middle of a bridge and Deadpool leaves without paying for the ride. While waiting on top of a bridge for his targets, Deadpool tells the audience that he touched Wolverine's balls in order to get his own movie. He then notices a group of vans approaching, jumps into one of them, and beats up all of the thugs in the van, resulting in an accident that kills other villains. Deadpool's main target is Ajax, the man who gave him his powers while also horribly disfiguring him. The vans collide at the bridge's end, at Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters, Colossus sees the chaos on the news and asks Negasonic Teenage Warhead to help him capture Deadpool. Deadpool is frustrated because he forgot his weapon bag and only has 12 rounds in his gun. He counts how many rounds he fires at each thug he kills, accidentally missing a few shots. But he manages to kill two men with one bullet and a third with a non-lethal shot to the forehead. This last thug attacks Deadpool with two knives, but Deadpool incapacitates him. Deadpool then points out that this is a different kind of superhero movie, and that we need to go back in time to hear him tell it correctly. Flashback to one year earlier. Wade Wilson was a mercenary based in New York City. He accepts a job that requires him to threaten a pizza delivery boy into stopping stalking a girl. When he finishes his job, the girl thanks him and calls him her hero, which Wade quickly corrects, stating that he is not. Wade visits his friend Weasel's pub. There Wade orders a drink named a blowjob and has the barman bring it to a big thug while claiming it came from another man. The insulting drink sets off a vicious fight between the two. Weasel's bar has a dead pool where people bet on others to die. Ultimately, the man Wade had bet on to die turns out to be still alive. Later, Wade meets Vanessa, a prostitute. They bond over their odd, messed up lives before starting a sexual relationship that eventually turns romantic. Wade experiences genuine happiness until receiving a devastating diagnosis of late-stage cancer, affecting multiple organs including his liver, lungs, prostate, and brain. He is more concerned about its impact on Vanessa than himself. While at the bar, Weasel directs Wade to a stranger looking for him. This person called the recruiter represents a facility promising not only to cure Wade's cancer, but also to give him superpowers. Despite initial hesitation, Wade accepts the recruiter's card, intrigued by the possibility of a cure. Back in the present, Deadpool notices Ajax on a motorbike approaching him. Deadpool hurls his katana at the bike, knocking Ajax flying. Deadpool impales Ajax, but he survives because he is a mutant. Colossus and Negasonic arrive at the scene. Colossus is disappointed with Deadpool for causing so much havoc and tries, unsuccessfully, to convince him to join the X-Men. Ajax manages to escape amidst the chaos. Deadpool, furious, tries to attack Colossus but ends up breaking both wrists and an ankle. Colossus cuffs Deadpool to his wrist, but Deadpool cuts off his own hand and escapes. In another flashback, Wade decided to be cured for Vanessa. He visits the facility and meets Ajax for the first time, along with his cohort Angel Dust. According to Ajax, in order for Wade's cells to heal, the mutant cells must be activated by exposing him to extreme stress. Ajax tells Wade that they are transforming him into a super slave to be auctioned off. Wade mocks Ajax after learning that his real name is Francis. Wade is strapped into a barometric chamber unit, and his oxygen supply is gradually cut off, resulting in his horrific disfigurement. Ajax tells Wade that his cancer is gone because his mutation has activated itself. Before Ajax orders the chamber sealed again, 
Wade headbutts Angel and takes a match that she had in her mouth. Wade then lights the match and throws it near the oxygen vent, resulting in an explosion. When Ajax goes down to look into it, Wade attacks him. Despite Wade's increased strength, Ajax manages to impale him and leaves as the facility collapses around him. Wade survives the incident, but is horrified by how he looks. He walks through the streets wearing a hood over his head, but those who see him are alarmed by his appearance. He is worried about what Vanessa will think if she sees him, so he completely avoids her. Wade goes to see Weasel, who is also disgusted by his looks, and makes a few jokes about it. Weasel suggests Wade make a suit and mask to disguise himself when he returns to track down Ajax and reverse his disfigurement. Wade decides to call himself Captain Deadpool, which they shorten to Deadpool, and begins his mission to find Ajax by clearing through his goons, initially wearing a crude uniform, but gradually redesigning it. Along the way, he meets the recruiter, who provides information about Ajax's whereabouts before meeting his demise at Deadpool's hands. Back in the present, Deadpool takes the garbage truck back to his place of residence. Wade has decided to stay with Al, a blind woman who cares about him, and occasionally offers witty advice. Ajax and Angel head to Weasel's pub in search of Deadpool. Angel grabs Weasel by the throat, causing the other customers to point their firearms at her and Ajax. During the tense standoff, they notice a photograph of Wade and Vanessa together before leaving. Instructed to confront Vanessa directly, Wade gathers the courage to visit the strip club where she works. However, he is hesitant to engage with her. Meanwhile, one of Vanessa's co-workers informs her that an ex-boyfriend is looking for her at the back of the club. Assuming it to be Wade, she steps outside, only to meet Ajax and Angel, who abduct her. Wade, venturing outside in search of Vanessa, finds only her abandoned handbag, signaling her kidnapping. Wade, enraged, grabs all of his guns and heads to the X-Mansion for Colossus and Negasonic to help him save Vanessa and stop Ajax. He then remarks that the mansion is so large but it appears that the studio could only afford two X-Men. The group boards Dopender's cab to Ajax's location, while en route Deadpool hears a scream coming from the trunk. Dopender admits he kidnapped his cousin, who stole the woman he has a crush on. Deadpool pretends to be horrified while quietly congratulating Dopender. The three then track Ajax down to a scrapyard where he is holed up aboard a decommissioned Avengers helicarrier. As Deadpool confronts Ajax's henchmen head-on, Colossus and Negasonic engage in combat with Angel. She slams Colossus away, but Negasonic charges at Angel with incredible force. Deadpool rips through the goons and uses their corpses to spell out Francis' name, mocking him. He rushes up to the helicopter carrier, where Ajax is keeping Vanessa. Ajax puts her in the same barometric chamber as Wade. Deadpool fights Ajax, eventually giving Vanessa a chance to escape. Meanwhile, Angel nearly strangles Colossus with a bar, but Negasonic unleashes a powerful blast, knocking Angel off and weakening one of the carrier's support columns. It begins to collapse. Colossus takes Negasonic and Angel to safety while Deadpool ensures Vanessa lands safely by placing her in the barometric chamber. The carrier then comes crashing down. Ajax attacks Deadpool yet again. Deadpool points his gun at Ajax and demands that he fix his face. But Ajax claims he lied about the cure. Deadpool is about to kill Ajax when Colossus steps in and starts to deliver a lengthy speech about the hero's decision to spare his enemy's life. Deadpool grows tired of the speech and shoots Ajax in the head. Deadpool finally confronts Vanessa and apologizes for leaving her. She takes off his mask to see his face, but all she sees is a cutout of Hugh Jackman's face. She gently pulls it off, revealing his true face and says she will eventually get used to it. They kiss, and Deadpool signs off as the story concludes. Thanks for watching. To catch all the latest from us, Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as a new video drops. We'll see you in the next one.